Hello, Pastor Steve Waldron, New Life Pentecostal Church, Albany, Georgia here. Um, I love studies on the book of Acts. I like studies on anything that has to do with scripture, really, and history, and especially as it pertains to scripture. But, on the book of Acts, this is considered to be, by many, the penultimate book on the book of Acts. Um, in certain ways. Now, all you'll get different things. I know, like, from Jerusalem to Rome by... Uh, Homer Kent, fantastic textbook. Of course, uh, Cunny Bear's book on the book of Acts. Cunny Bear and Howlinson on the life and times of Paul. And uh, the book of Acts is, is fantastic. Many people would say F.F. F. Bruce, of course. Frederick Fivey Bruce, who can say what an incredible scholar he was. But Colin Hemer, one of the fascinating things about this book, this is actually a compilation after he died. They went and found notes that he had done on the book of Acts. And it is tremendous. It is very even-handed, almost too much so. Um, you can tell maybe he had some presuppositional bias towards believing the book of Acts, but he presents it in such a way to where he, it, it comes across that, that it's as objective as possible. And uh, in a certain way, it goes back, it harkens back to uh, people that would start out uh, looking at the book of Acts, trying to disprove the Bible, and then being converted, that type thing. One of the scholars in the earliest 20th centuries that happened to um, but as far as minutia, as far as from uh, epigraphy and from statues and from uh, different things from the ancient world, he goes into how Paul is shown to be right, or Luke actually, under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost, is shown to be right in uh, basically every instance that he wrote when there would be certain things that scholars would say, no, if, if Luke was really right there, he would have used this term, polytarch, oligarch, on and on and so forth. But then when they do discoveries from the ancient world, the Grecian world, this Hellenistic setting, they find, no, there was a peculiarity possibly in that particular city, that particular area, that particular region. And... Uh, and Luke was correct. So, fantastic book. Um, on the Premier Study Bible, we're actually using this as one of the foundations for our Book of Acts, as, as there are many. Gregory has a great one on the Book of Acts as well, put out by World, the Apostle Paul, basically. But uh, I would highly recommend this book, very scholarly. It is not cheap. Maybe you can find it cheap. It is not cheap. I think uh, it's going to be anywhere from $68 to $150, something like that. But uh, if you're into Lucan and Acts studies, I would say it's worth it. So God bless you. Have a great day.